Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, my name is Stephanie Scheffel. I am one of two board certified music therapists in Hayes Consolidated Independent School District just south of here. I work every day with special education students, including many with autism spectrum disorders. I'm here on behalf of the public school music therapists in Texas to ask you to support music therapy as an innovative and effective treatment for students on the autism spectrum. Music therapy is defined by the American Music Therapy Association as the clinical and evidence-based use of music interventions to accomplish individualized goals within a therapeutic relationship by a credentialed professional who has completed an approved music therapy program. In my job in Hayes CISD, I support the individualized education plan of my students by providing music-based interventions such as singing or instrument play or songwriting, just to name a few that target specific skills that students working on. Um, I use research on evidence-based practice as well as my knowledge of music and my knowledge of each student to plan interventions that encourage students with autism to communicate and engage with the world around them through music. Most of us have used music as a tool for learning at some point in our lives. Um, for example, most of us learn our alphabet early in life through a simple nursery rhyme. When I was in elementary school, I discovered firsthand how effective music can be when I memorized the song 50 Nifty United States. And sure enough, to this day, I can recite every one in alphabetical order. So there's clearly something to music as a tool for learning. Although the students with autism that I work with face significant challenges, engaging in purposeful music making can unlock new worlds of academic, communicative, and social possibilities. I have seen a student who would not imitate his teacher's movements in class, imitate tapping a drum during a music therapy session, very cool moment, uh, and another student who teachers thought could not identify his numbers count backwards from 10 to 1 during a song about blasting off into space. And these are just two of many examples um, and in, in the folder that I provided to you in some of our written testimony from other music therapists, you'll see many more fantastic examples for music therapy sessions. House Bill 1376, which was introduced by Representative Sarah Davis last session, would have studied the need for state recognition of music therapy in Texas. <coughs> music therapists believe that state recognition could protect and benefit consumers by ensuring a minimum level of competency, increase access to services through state programming, and avoiding confusion for schools or other facilities wishing to hire a trained music therapist. I believe that for special education students statewide, state recognition of music therapy could mean increased provision of the high quality services that all of our students deserve. We ask for your general support for music therapy in the upcoming session, and we look forward to working with you on legislation to study state recognition of music therapy in Texas, um, along with the written testimony from other public school music therapists across the state who could not be here. You'll also find information on House Bill 1376, um, and a fact sheet from our National Association about music therapy with autism spectrum disorders. Thank you for your time and your consideration. Great. Thank you so much for being here with us. Mm -hmm. Any questions, Gary? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Van Dever, I'm sorry. Thank you for hanging out with me.